I didn't hear him speaking. I didn't feel like he was answering any of my prayers. I just didn't feel close to him. Out of nowhere, in my head, just popped one word, serve. Um, and it just, it was like a light bulb. So fortunately, at the same time, Calvary was doing Next Steps University, which was a way to get people plugged into different ministries um, at Calvary. At the end, it had you fill out a survey of things you're interested in. So I basically picked every, every ministry that had to do with some type of service. Jonathan Sigmund, who told me more about this um, COVID uh, outreach team that was being launched. A couple of days later, Sigmund actually uh, referred me back to John Iacucci um, and said, I think it'd be a really good idea if you guys work together. We're launching this COVID response team. Um, it'd be really cool if you worked together. So I was able to serve people and talk to people um, and just share, share my faith about Jesus with them. Um, and at the same time, I was learning a lot too. I was starting to, to strengthen my relationship with God at the same time. Um, because I was walking in the purpose I believe that he's created me to walk in. In 2023, I have the amazing opportunity to run um, Hope Day at our church. And what we do is we go to a bunch of different houses and organizations and we uh, do projects and just serve a bunch of people's practical needs while at the same time sharing the love and hope of Jesus with them. You don't need to serve other people in order for God to love you. He, he already loves all of us from the moment we were born. I really just felt like I was stepping into the purpose that God had for me, which was to serve people in Rochester. If he's prompting you towards service or towards outreach, I would really encourage you to, to say yes to that because there's so many amazing things that God is doing with his love. Um, and if you say yes to him, you get to be a part of everything he's doing. And it's really cool to watch.